There's just one thing I gotta ask you. What made you look into Mayor Bellows in the first place? Oh, it was a client. Asked me to follow the mayor. Never met him, though. He did everything over the phone. But who was it? Only well, gave me his last name. DeVoe. You and I have been enemies for years. Oh, you've had others, of course. There's Dawn, Zoom, DeVoe. This is where we came up with the cerebral inhibitor to use against DeVoe. What's wrong? The name DeVoe means something to you? I smell a mystery. The samurai served its purpose. As in 12th century feudal Japan, a time when the military class was powerful, the execution methodical, like ours. Well, it worked. The Flash is back in Central City. It appears things are going as planned. As if there were any doubt. What's our next step? I'm thinking. What is good YouTube, Watch you here with a video on the Flash Season 4. So this is going to be a Flash Season 4 news video. We're going to be going information from up and coming episode, episode 7, which is called Therefore I Am. So careful for spoilers. If you're not interested in finding that information from episodes up and coming, check out my Godspeed Theory video instead. So episode 7 will be called Therefore I Am. This is the episode before... The Crisis on Earth X, which is episode 8, which is the crossover with Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and obviously The Flash. And I think it's an interesting synopsis. So, guys, let's get into it. So it says, Barry meets Defoe. Barry comes face to face with Defoe. Defoe's past is revealed through flashbacks. Meanwhile, Iris puts the final touches on the wedding, which is one week away. And obviously this is very important because the episode after this is actually the wedding where Crisis on Earth X happens, where the wedding gets interrupted. So let's break it down. Barry comes face to face with Defoe. But does he come face to face with Defoe? Because due to Canada graphs, we know this is major spoiler warnings that in episode, well, from what he said, in episode nine, the thinker's going to come out with his chair into the public. I'm going to overlay some images now where you see Neil Sanderland, who's playing the thinker, out in the public. It's a bit unclear what's going on here, but if you read, I'll put the article to Canada Graph's website down below, but it goes into a lot more detail. It basically says that the kind of face-off could be the mid-season finale. The mid-season finale is usually episode nine. So let's go back to the synopsis for a minute. So it says, Barry comes face-to-face -face with DeVoe. Now, we've had DeVoe name-dropping since Abracadabra last season. Even Savitar says when he has the cerebral inhibitor, he says you're not there yet. And then in the most recent episode, like you would have seen in the clip I played before this, we get Mr. Elongated Man, who's not actually been called up yet, Mr. Plastic Man. Mr. Ralph said his client was called Defoe. And then Barry Allen, the Flash, got a flashback to when Abracadabra, Alakazam, said Defoe. So Barry now knows that Defoe is connected to Ralph. So it is Ralph being controlled by the thinker. It's very, very interesting that this synopsis says that, and then obviously what Canada Graph said um, during this, I mean, there are major spoilers in the blog. Um, it insinuates that the thinker took his place in his high tech throne and hovered over the alleyway that Barry was yanked yanked in to for a short scene that took longer for them to get out i mean if you want to check it out i will link it below so i'm not actually sure if the face-off is going to actually happen in episode seven or is it going to happen in episode nine it's a bit unclear because the synopsis does say barry comes face to face with defoe and we get a backstory from defoe which is going to be quite interesting because guys you never know defoe might have been on that bus as well we do know that it's going to be a metahuman version of defoe he's going to be more of like a metahuman rather than someone that's kind of gay his powers through the thinking cap so i think it's gonna be really interesting to find out his backstory iris is putting finishing touches to the wedding so i'm really looking forward to barry meets defoe it doesn't say to the thinker 
but he might meet the foe, but is he going to know that it's actually the foe that he's meeting? So I'm really looking forward to episode seven, which comes out just before the four night crossover, sorry, two night crossover, four episode crossover, because this year they're doing it over Monday and Tuesday rather than through the whole week, which for continuity and consistency makes it a lot better because it's going to be like a four hour movie, which is very interesting. And I mean, that's all the synopsis says, guys, that we get Devoe's past, Barry and the foe meets each other it's going to be interesting to see if they call him clifford or the thinker and then iris puts the finishing which touches to her wedding so that's just wedding planning and stuff so it sounds like a pretty solid synopsis to me it's a bit brief maybe we'll get like a bit more details but it's going to be really interesting to see how they're going to market this episode the massive face-off being before episode nine uh but like i said i will link kind of the grass website down below major spoilers and i'll overlay some images so full credit to canada graph who is a pretty cool guy who takes images for people like me to make theories and conspiracies so it's pretty interesting i presume episode nine will be the maybe christmas e episode if it's going to be the episode where we go on the break anyway guys all your comments down below what do you think about the synopsis what do you think about barry how is guy barry going to meet him what do you think devoe's backstory is would love to know all your theory and conspiracies and ideas down below guys i'm going to be trying my best to do more season four flash news videos reviews and breakdowns and theories because i've been slacking but i really want to build that flash community back up like we had before we lost the channel in this in, just before the end of may and then we got it back anyway guys thanks for all the support i've been getting recently on all my videos I do appreciate it very much anyway guys please like subscribe and comment if you could that would be awesome check me out on instagram at warstew and twitter at mallstew i will catch you in the notification squad group if you hit that bell button which is the red one below my name anyway guys catch you later